Okay, hello everybody. Finally, finally we got this to work. I do not recommend Hypercam. Get Camtasia. Uh, welcome to my first FL Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm just going to teach you the basics. Um, how to uh, use, I guess, FL Studio 10. How to, how to make a song is what I'll teach you how to do. Um, so, let's just start off on a clean slate. Go to File, New from Template, Minimal basic not the one with the limiter just without the limiter wait for that to load okay well I'll go ahead and explain um, what each section or, or each each of these things do uh, this is our our pattern this is our pat like our pattern area sorry I'm having trouble talking this is our, our pattern area and this is where we will make um, the pieces to our song okay and over here is the playlist. This is where the magic happens. This is where we put all the pieces together to make music. It's wonderful. Down here is the mixer. This is where uh, we mix things. Yeah, we add effects. We change the audio levels. This is our soundboard. Okay, our virtual soundboard. Um, here's where our, our tempo. Okay. Uh, just click and and go up and down. And that will um, that will determine the tempo beats per minute. Isn't that great? We're gonna stick with 130. Okay, so right here we have kick, clap, hat, snare, and we're just gonna make a basic drum beat. So we'll just do you know one beat per bar. Uh, just go ahead and click on every fourth, so it sounds like yeah, nice. Nice. And let's go ahead and add some uh, claps. Great. All right. And we'll add in some hats. Now, I've selected all these. I'm going to show you how to delete. You just right click on the ones you want to delete. And uh, you can, all, instead of uh, doing that on each individual one, you can actually hold right click and that'll delete all of them. But for now, we're just going to uh, leave it like that. Cool. Let's add a snare. All right, great. We got our first beat. Isn't that awesome? Okay, our first pattern done. We got our drum beat. Uh, so you can click right here where it says pattern one. It says it says uh, pattern one, and all this crazy stuff comes up. Okay, all we want to do right now is rename and color. Well, you don't have to color it. We're just gonna rename it drums. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and color to color something. To color the pattern, this won't color the this thing's color. You just click on this little thing right here, and it brings up this uh, list. We're going to go with red. We're going to make that red. That'll be great. Okay. Now, we have our drums. Let's go ahead and make it a, a, a base. So you click on this little plus sign, or what the circle with the plus in it, and, it's, and uh, another naming thing comes up. We're going to name pattern to pattern to base. Sorry, I'm... I'm talking how funny today uh, right here it says file edit channels view we're gonna click on channels and we're gonna add one we're gonna add uh, 3x o s c had to make sure I was saying that right <laughs> um, now uh, to in order to make um, individual notes so it's not just like yeah, you don't want that. That's not going to make a million dollars. Uh, you're going to right click on it and choose piano roll. All right. This brings up our our keyboard. This is where we're going to put on uh put up our notes. So, let's go down to A2. And uh I'm going to go with the with the baseline A D G C. There we go. That's uh really common progression. But let's hear how that sounds. Yeah, there we go. Really, really simple. Uh, you can click on this thing right here and uh, scrub through this. Now, that won't really... I don't like to use it that much because it doesn't really uh, uh, let you listen to how, how it sounds. Um, but, you know, some people do. Um, 
Okay. Uh, in order to, uh, I'm sure you noticed to change the length, you just uh, click on the end and drag it. Um, we're going to look at our tools up here. This paintbrush, I like to use a paintbrush a lot. Um, if you notice with the, the drawing thing, the, the pencil, you have to click each time. And uh, that could get pretty tedious if you want to make little 16th notes, you know, like that. So in order to save yourself a lot of time, you click on this paintbrush and hold down and drag. See, that's really awesome. All right, let's get rid of all those. Um, you know, there's delete. It's not really necessary, though, since right-click deletes. Uh, mute, I don't use that. Slice. Okay, this is really cool. Because let's say I want the want the baseline to be changed up a little bit. I want to uh, add in a couple notes so it's not just, you know, one long, boring note. Let's go ahead and we'll cut that up. Cut these like this. And we'll just change the... I'm going to put this as a E. And we'll put that... No, I don't want that as an E. I want that as C. Starting to sound <laughs> like a. This is like a, a classical uh, bass. That wouldn't be D. That'd be. Uh, there we go. I'm having trouble. All right, there we go. A little bit more interesting, isn't it? So that's pretty cool. You know, you can play around the slice tool, uh, zoom. You know, lets you zoom in. See. All the little details. I'm using FL Studio 10, so if you're using like eight or nine or seven, even uh, it's not it's not gonna look exactly like that. Uh, you can also push one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. That also zooms in. Uh, not six. That's a note. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so interesting stuff. Um, so we have our baseline. Let's go ahead and click this plus sign again, and let's make this one melody. We're going to make a melody. Um, now, let's say we want um, this to be on a separate instrument. Okay, let's say we want the melody to sound like a different synthesizer. So, you can right-click on this and choose Clone. And that'll make a number two. Okay, and there's a reason I'm doing this. I'll sh you, it'll, uh, you'll understand a little bit later. But uh, let's right-click on, on this. And we're going to rename this. Melody, and we're gonna rename the old one. Bass. We're gonna give them. Let's go ahead and give them a color. I think bass should be a dark blue, or violet. Whatever you want. To, whatever color you want to call that. Oh, excuse me. Make this one light blue. All right. Cool. Cool. So we're on melody. Uh, let's go ahead. And just make a you know a melody. I'm gonna make a generic one. It'll be kind of, I don't know, silly. Arpeggiated. It'll sound kind of lame and generic. But that's what this is all about. My lame and generic music. Uh, I want that to be a D. Having brain lag here. Oh, a useful thing. Um, if you're, you know, if you have, uh, you know, a longer note like this, you want to be a shorter note, instead of doing that uh, to save yourself like half a second, you can actually click on previous notes. So let's say this one was two, uh, three spaces, four. Let's say I wanted to, um, you know, I just wanted to switch between these really fast instead of dragging each new one out. You can actually click on them, and it will make that length appear. It's really helpful. Uh, you know, helps speed up, speeds up the process. So let's continue making our melody here. Nice fluffy melody. So let's see how that sounds. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. All right, so we have all of our pieces. What do we do now? 
Okay. So, uh, go over here to your playlist. We're going to put our pieces together. And uh, right here on this drop-down menu, where, you know, we named drums, bass, and melody, we're going to click on drums. Make sure you have your paintbrush selected. This is going to make this process a lot easier. Just click and drag a few instances. We're not going to make this very long. Uh, go down to bass. I want the bass to play, you know, after the drums come in. The melody. I want that to come in after the bass. All right. So, in order to play what's in the playlist, right over here next to the play, stop, record button there's pattern and song mode we're in pattern mode that plays what's in this pattern you click on song and it will play what's in the playlist so let's hear how this sounds all right there we go we got a slamming new beat yeah. Okay. Um, so we have we have that down. Now let's go to the uh, more important parts. Uh, the mixer. You want to make sure everything's not crazy loud. Um, you can control the volume and the 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 pan of each instrument over here, but uh, this is where you can control your levels and change your effects. The reason why I had you. Uh, put the melody on a separate instrument than the bass is so we can add different effects to each one. That will be awesome, won't it? Okay. Now, since we started with a template, the kick, the clap, the hat, the snare, they already have their uh, assigned tracks. Okay, in, the, in their mixer. They each have their own assigned mixer channels, I guess I should say. Um, so our bass and our melody have none. See, right here it says FX1. On the kick, on the clap, it says FX2. All right, well, on the bass, we're going to make that FX5. All right, and on our melody, we're going to make that FX6. So when this plays, you should see all of these uh, meters rising. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> okay, now uh, you can adjust the volumes of each one. Like, let's say we want the uh, want the bass to be a little bit louder, the melody a little bit quieter. Maybe we want the claps to be louder. Okay, um, and then over here uh, is where we add our effects. So let's say we want to uh, add like a flanger onto the bass. Just go to fruity flanger. We click on this little arrow right here. Click on Fruity Flanger. Uh, I'm not going to go around with the settings and presets. Gonna... Oh, that's a little bit loud. Try and lower that volume. Alright, and let's add a chorus to the melody. You can click on these little green buttons right here. You can click on that, and that will mute the effects. And then this slider right here, or this little knob, that changes uh, the volume, how much it's applied to the instrument. So, if we wanted that a little bit on there, we could have it. I don't really like it. I just threw that on for fun. <laughs> um, you know, there's reverb. I'm not going to go too much into all that. Just, I just want you to get the idea of what we're doing. Oh, and you can also click on these little effects buttons right here. And that will uh, turn the effects, all the effects on that channel on and off. So that's pretty helpful. Um, if you're using a whole bunch of uh, effects and, uh, and uh, excuse me, and uh, it's eating up all your RAM, and you want to hear how it sounds on a certain instrument, you just click on that, and it'll turn off all the effects. It's really helpful. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's the basics. Um, I could have easily put all this on one pattern. I just chose not to. Uh, I don't like to do that. I like to put everything on different patterns. Not 
you know every little thing on every different pattern but something like this I would put them on each different pattern um, you know that's just me uh, so anyways I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope it was informative um, if you have any questions feel free to email me post my blog whatever uh, if you have any requests I will take them um, I don't know a whole bunch I mean you know I know how to get around. I, I get around in FL Studio, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not like crazy with it. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, if you want me to touch on anything, just let me know. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching.